Hey there! In this power-up, I will be showing you how to build composite components. Composite components are made up of other components. Composites allow you to create and reuse more complex user interface elements easily. For example, the card component in our component library is a composite component consisting of a styled container, a title, and a paragraph. You can also build your own composite components that you can save and reuse in your app. In this example, I will be showing you how to build a star rating composite component and how to add it to a list of movie titles, allowing you to rate each movie with 1 to 3 stars. Let's start by building our star rating composite component. Let's add a container, change its layout to horizontal, and change its component name to star rating. Next, let's add our three stars inside it. Clicking on the component, we have the option to turn it into a new view component in the sidebar to the left. Selecting that, we have now created our own composite component star rating, which is now available in the By Me section in the component library. Now let's configure our star rating component. Double clicking on the component opens the isolation mode, and we are able to edit its properties. We'll need to add a property to track the given rating. Let's add a number type property rating and make it two way bindable. This means we can set its value outside of the component, and the value can be changed within the component, like when a star is tapped and the rating changes. Going back to the view canvas, we can now add some functionality to our component with the help of our property rating. We'll want to represent the rating with the amount of filled in stars, while the rest of the stars are unfilled. Beginning with the first star, we can use the following formula function to determine if it should be filled or not. So if the rating is 1, 2 or 3, then the first star should be filled, otherwise it will be an unfilled star. Let's add the same logic to the rest of the stars, just slightly modifying the condition. There, now our filled and unfilled star should be displayed correctly. Next, we'll need to update the rating value when each star is tapped. In the flow function library, we can find the flow function set internal property. Let's add it after the component tap event. The rating property is automatically chosen, and tapping the first star would assign its value to 1. Let's add the same function to the rest of the stars and change the assignment value to 2 and 3. And there we go. Let's add our list of movies to the page. Let's add a star rating component from the By Me section in the library to the repeating container. Looking at the properties of our component, we could initialize a rating value for it, so let's bind the property movie rating of each movie to it. Looking at the preview, we can see that each movie has zero stars, and the stars get filled and unfilled according to our tapping. I hope you enjoyed this power-up, and let's meet again soon!